Iran, coronavirus death toll exceeds 262,700. Over 262,700 people have died of the novel coronavirus in 539 cities checkered across all of Iran's 31 provinces, according to reports tallied by the Iranian opposition People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran as of Friday afternoon. The official death toll declared by the regime stands at 68,746, around a fourth of the actual figure. The coronavirus management situation is very weak in our country and the president has brought this upon us with his non-expertise decisions, said a member of the regime's parliament on Friday, according to the Mayor news agency, an outlet linked to the regime's Ministry of Intelligence and Security. There were exceptionally good solutions to control COVID-19, but the president did not act upon the warnings and solutions provided by experts and the health ministry. The country needs to be saved from the status quo and the solution is a strong and revolutionary government, the MP added. Iran's regime humiliates youth in Mashhad. The Iranian regime's state security forces paraded 34 young men in the streets to punish them for attending the annual Iranian fire festival held on March 16, the state-run Irna news agency reported on Friday. The public humiliation was carried out in the northeastern Iranian city of Mashhad with the presence of Judge Sayyid Hadi Shariatyar, Deputy of Crime Prevention of the Public and the Revolutionary Prosecutor's Office of Mashhad. On the eve of the last Wednesday of the Persian year, Iranians gather to light bonfires in the streets and jump over the flames to celebrate the Iranian fire festival. Singing, dancing and eating together are also part of this fire festival known as Charsham Suri. But for many Iranians, this Persian event goes far beyond being just a cultural celebration. Especially for the young, it provides an opportunity to vent hatred at the regime. 